Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add music to your games inside of Godot. So there's a few different ways you can do it, and it's going to depend on whether you want your music to play positionally or not. So if it's non-positional, that means it's going to be playing at the same audio, regardless of where your character, or more specifically the camera that follows your character, happens to be pointed at in your game. And then the other is positional audio, where the audio volume will depend on how close the camera is to the object which is playing the music. So the first option is really simple. I'm going to right click in my level scene and choose add a child node. Then you're going to be searching for audio. So you'll see audio stream player, audio stream player 2D, and then 3D. 3D, of course, just being used for a 3D game. So let's use a audio stream player, create. And this can be anywhere in your main scene. It just has to exist while the game is running. And we take the audio stream player and we need to attach a audio stream or the music file to it. So I'm going to open the folder where I have the MP3 file in the project. There would be other formats supported, of course, as well. For instance, if I left click on the stream, you'll see the .ogg Vorbis files are also supported. So let's just go ahead and drag this MP3 file over to the audio stream and attach it here. So you'll see the audio waveforms showing here. And next we need to enable autoplay if you want the music to play at the start of the game. If you don't want it to play immediately, then in script you'll need to trigger the on playing equals true. At some point in time you could attach a script and set up a trigger for that. But the simplest way is just to enable autoplay. Now the other thing I'm going to change here is lowering the volume down. So a lot of music tracks tend to be quite loud by default. So I'm going to subtract negative 20 decibels from this just so it's a bit more quiet. And let's hit enter and now we can go ahead and play the scene. And we'll be able to hear the music running as soon as it starts. And regardless of where we move on the screen, it's going to be playing at the same volume. So generally, that's what you want. But as I mentioned, you can also have positional audio, which may more often be used for sound effects, but you can also use it for music. So I'm going to get rid of our audio stream player, right click and delete that node. And then we just need to choose another object that we want the music to play from. So I'll click on this barrel over here. So selecting barrel number five, I'm going to right click on it, add a child node. And then we'll put a audio stream player on this. So you can add this to a specific instance of the object, or you could also jump into the original scene, open an editor, and you can attach a audio stream player to this if you want every instance of your barrel or other object to have that node, the audio stream player 2D. Uh, but as you can see in the main scene, you can just add it to the one that needs to have it here easily as well. So with this audio stream player 2D, we're going to attach the audio stream as an MP3 again. So I'm just going to drag the music over there. And then we're going to want to enable autoplay so that it's playing when the game starts. Okay, so there's also these two settings down here that we should pay some attention to. The max distance as in how far away can you be from the barrel and still be able to hear the music playing. So 2000 pixels is going to be way too much for this game since each of these squares is 16 pixels. So I'm thinking something more like a hundred, could even be 50 uh, for testing purposes. And then the attenuation is uh, the drop off rate. How quickly do you want the music to fade out as you walk away from the object that's playing the music? Uh, so with these settings, I'm also going to maybe lower the volume decibel, negative 20 again, uh, just making it quiet compared to sound effects. Don't want the music to be too loud. And let's go ahead and hit play and test it out. So when we hit play, we can hear the music a little bit in the background, or you should be able to, but let's move closer to the barrel. And when we're standing right next to it, it's going to play basically at full volume. Now let's move way far away from it, 100 pixels or more, and you can't hear it at all, but if we move closer to it, you can hear it again. So that's the whole idea of positional audio. You'd only be able to hear things that you're actually close to. So now if you wanted to move that audio source around the screen, we simply need to select the barrel I'm going to hold alt down and move this to a different location. And we can also duplicate the audio stream player and have two objects playing the same music. So I'm going to control D this audio player and let's select this barrel, move it down here. I'm just going to move this audio player onto the barrel, just drag and drop. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and hit play and test it out. So initially we can't hear anything because we're not close enough. Let's go to this barrel. Okay, something went wrong. Let's uh, click on the audio stream player. Uh, so the problem here is that the uh, audio stream player's transform is offset from the barrel. So we actually need to expand the transform and reset that. Okay, now it's back to here. 
Uh, just be careful about that. Each node can have their own position on the screen. So even if it inherits the base position from the barrel, it can still be offset by its own transform. So let's hit play again and uh, make sure everything's working. Let's move to that bottom left barrel. Okay, and this time we can hear the music when we get close to it. And let's go to the top right. And there we go. So we have two objects that are playing the music. And that is pretty much in a nutshell how you can add music to your games using Audio Stream Player and Audio Stream Player 2D. The process for doing sound effects would be quite simple as well. You just need to have them play as a one-off thing where when an event happens, you set the stream player to playing and then you just don't have it loop. You only have it play the sound effect whenever those events happen. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching to the end. I've been Chris and I will see all of you in my future video content.